In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pattern and also to put it in a clipping mask in type. Or this could be any shape, but I'll be featuring type in this one. So I've made up little shapes here, and this is going to be my pattern. And I might make it a little bit smaller. So this is the size of the pattern I wanted to build, but I really don't want to build anymore. So I have this, I'm going to select them all. And I, again, I just did this with using the shape tool by having the star and then using my direct selection tool and creating sort of a rounded curves over sharper edges. This method can be found in my videos. I'm going to come up to object, pattern, make. And what this is saying is that what the finished product will be will be in the swatches. I'm going to click OK here. You can change the pattern name if you want to. We'll say stars. And you can change the tile type. So we can have grid, brick by brick, brick by column. And this blue box here shows you that this is the original. So if I wanted to make something smaller and different, it would change that with all of them. You can change the color while you're in here, the size, the stroke width, whatever you'd like to do. This is an editable box for you to use. You can also choose the offset of the brick. And you can work with the height and width. So if you want a little bit more space, or maybe you want the, to have a little bit more height, you can do that as well. Maybe you want them really close. It's really up to you what your look is. You can have it here where this can make it bigger and fill in the space differently. So you can see the different sizes with that. Then also, if you want to really just see how your edible version is working, you can work with dim copies. It's 90%, 50%, you get the idea there. When you're satisfied, you can push done. And you can make alternate versions of this by saving as a copy as well. So I'm going to click done here. Now what I have to do to initiate that as a pattern is I have to make it into a shape, right? Just how we would fill in a space with a color. You want to fill this in with a shape. So I want to make sure I selected my pattern right here, stars, in my swatches panel. Click and drag, and then there's my stars. The next step here is that here's my little pattern going on. And I do want to actually make a bigger shape here with that. There we go. Otherwise it stretch it and make it look awkward. So here is my typeface and right now it's still editable. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and what I have to do is that in order to make a clip mask work I can't have the type as an editable version in which I can switch out numbers and type. I need to come up to type create outlines. Now it is a graphic but it's still grouped and we can't have that. So I'm going to come up to object, ungroup. I'm also going to take one of these versions and keep it safe. I always do that. And then keep another one and instead of having a fill on it, do a stroke. You can change your stroke width up here in your options. Or you can also come over here and do the same. So I'm going to option command, click and drag, copying that over one more. And having my two bring to the front. So object, arrange, bring front is one of the many ways you can do that. So what happens is I need to 
have a shape on top, which is my two, in order for my pattern to fit into that shape. So I'm forcing those stars into that shape, which is the number two. Clicking and dragging. And then we can go to Object, Clipping Mask at the bottom, Make. Or I like to do Command 7, which is the hotkey. So same with the zero. I'm going to bring this up. If it's not sitting on top, Option, sorry, Object, Arrange, Bring Front. Make sure both are selected, Command 7. And then all I have to do to finish is to bring these up and to fit these in there. So it's a little bit of a multi-step process, but you can still have this look. And so you can also see that the pattern is above here if we zoom in. So again, all I have to do is click, hold on shift, click again, object, arrange, send back. And there we go. And with the stroke, what I would do is I would expand it because if it goes 10 feet by 10 feet or 2 inches by 2 inches, the stroke can get thinner or thicker depending. So when it's smaller and you made it, so if you worked small and you made it this size, if you expand it to a much larger size, the stroke can get much thinner and look quite awkward and not the way you wanted it. So when you're 100% complete with what you like, always save a copy that's still editable and then take this version clicking on the stroke only go up to object expand and then here you would do the stroke and there you go so again working with the pattern tool making sure we create outlines for type we expand the stroke and then we work with arranging layers. If you need to edit the pattern at all, maybe you don't like the color or the size, all you have to do is come back in, double click, and this will open it up into the editable pattern options. You can cancel, done, or copy if you just want an alternative version to your first one. And there you go.